Welcome to Seattle, everyone. My name is Terry Marr, one of the commentary, but I'm not alone. I'm here with Randy Savage. Introduce yourself, man. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Dark Zekrom here, a.k.a. apparently Randy Savage now. Savage is my actual last name, so that's a little bit of tentative information. But like you said, we are <laughs> in Seattle. Both teams are currently in Seattle. We have the Seattle Staraptors versus the Seattle Smeargles. And uh, it's going to be a so pretty rainy Seattle battle today. We're in Seattle, Washington, so it's very nice and snowy out there. Gotta make a snowman afterwards. Wanna build a snowman? Yeah, let's build some snowman after this. Uh, hey. <laughs> but uh, before we start, uh, we have both teams, like we said, are in Seattle, but the Seattle Smear Girls are in the away zone. We are currently at the Seattle Staraptors um, arena here. And uh, like he said, it's very snowy outside. So both teams are actually 0 and 1 for wins and losses. So there's going to be a very interesting battle, and it can be anyone's battle right now. So we'll find out what their teams are in a bit, and uh, we'll see. But for right now, we're in the what they call point of view of sketchy Smirgle. So we'll see how his thought processes are and his opponent's team. Exactly. Uh, do you have any uh, comments or on uh, how do you think the teams are going to do? Do you have any opinions on uh, what's going on with the teams right now? Well, um, I think uh, Sketchy can't pull it off. I mean, last week it was a, a very tough loss. I saw the match last week. But maybe um, he will wipe that loss from his fingers and uh, say that battle was just a battle, that this week he will win. Yeah, so, hopefully we could really use this win, so hopefully we uh, make it through here. Um, like you said, the teams are both, uh, from what I can tell, both very good teams. It's just a couple of these, the last battle last week was uh, really tough. We uh, didn't really have much to do against the Ubers of Aegislash and uh, just kind of swept the rest of the team out, you know? Yeah, that, that really good clean from the Aegislash. Yeah. As we sure. wait... As we wait here, let the teams get all warmed up and set up, get their thought process going. Uh, we do not know what the Seattle Staraptors are bringing, but the Seattle Smeargles, on the other hand, they have brought a Sylveon, a Kairu in Black, a Skarmory, a Jolteon, Arcanine, and a Weezing. Uh, oh. I see about a 50-50 split here of defense and attack, so what's going on? What are, where are your opinions on this? Hmm, I see he brought both evolutions, so... Uh, that means he's not jogging around. No, we have two evolutions on the field. You're not wrong about that. Uh, it looks like Weezing is going to be the one of the main physical defense uh, walls here, as well as Skarmory, hopefully, is a defogger, as well as a wall. And Sylveon, if specced correctly, can be used as a special wall. Uh, but the three main attackers look like they're going to be Arcanine, Jolteon, and Kyurem Black. And speaking of Kyurem Black, uh, as you, we all know, you're the Dark Zagrom. Uh, I am that I am. Looks like, looks like um, Kyurem just got split the split with um, Zagrom and became black. Yeah, yeah. Looks like they've just, uh, uh, they've kind of combined here, and uh, looks like uh, Zagrom. So maybe uh, they win. Maybe they win since you're commentating for yourself. <laughs> well, hopefully, <basically. laughs> hopefully they win since I'm commentating for uh, my brother. I guess you could say. Um, <laughs> Depending on man. who the Seattle Staraptors are going to bring, I personally think we should lead with the Skarmory to hopefully get some spikes up, maybe. Or maybe even the Sylveon to uh, scout some stuff out, because we're not really sure what they're going to bring over here, on the other hand, in the home team. Uh, I believe um, Mr. Hart is uh, doing his team preview and such, I believe. I'm not sh sure. We should be close to the team preview. Yeah, we've got another about another minute here or so before the uh, timer runs out for the team preview here. Um, but it looks like uh, Sketchy is just planning what he's going to do to wreck house. And let's see if he could try to get that 5-0 victory. Yeah, hopefully, depending on what, like, uh, like I said, the Seattle Staraptors bring, hopefully we can break out a pretty good win for us here because we could definitely use a win or two. Yeah, we got him. I mean, even though it's the start of the season of the PGL, um, yeah, so, so we can't have many losses. And as we go to the team preview, Mr. Hart has Darkrai, Scizor, Suicune, Near Queen, 
Kabutas and Muncharna. What do All you right. think about this? So this team seems pretty scary. If they do have a Mega, it looks like it's going to be a Scizor. If that Scizor is a Mega, that's a very, very uh, high attack, uh, high damaging Pokemon that um, could do some good damage to Sylveon with a Bullet Punch or two. Um, like I said, uh, and same with Kyrian Black, because the, the Steel against Ice is not a very good matchup. Um, very, very well. I think, personally, that... The Seattle Star Raptors are going to be leading with maybe Kabutops. Uh, I'm not really. I don't see any hazard set setups here. Do you, do you I know mean, any of these Pokemon that can set up a hazard? Neo Queen has the rocks, so I True. think Neo Queen. And I see Kabutops is a spinner, but Sketchy Smurda has to watch out for that Dark Ride because he can Dark Void it, leaving crap out of him. Yes, Dark Void is very scary. Uh, hopefully. We can uh, dish out some good damage with uh, maybe Arcanine or Kyrian Black against that Darkrai over there. But um, if they do, in fact, if the Seattle uh, Staraptors do, in fact, lead with the Needle Queen, I believe we should be leading with the Skarmory to scope out any poison type attacks and just oh. genuinely see what they're going to go for. Because if it has any. All right, so let's go into the battle here, real quick. They're going to start sending in their Pokemon. Let's see what our leads are going to be, see if our predictions are correct, see if the Staraptors are going to lead with the Needle Queen, and if we're going to lead with the Skarmory. Let's see uh, how this goes. He's issuing a challenge. He uses Armada. That's the Skarmory. Skarmory is out. That. Mitsuru, here comes the Needle Queen. We were what? correct on our statement there. So let's see what these Pokemon are going to do. They're going to take their time to think about it. And if Sketchy is smart, they will. he will set up the spikes right away. Yeah, because um, Neo Queen can also set up the rocks, and uh, they can both set up their heads with heal yes. over here. And if worse comes and to worse, Sketchy can always just defog the things away, if in fact this Skarmory does have that. I mean, there is a possible way he cannot have defog, but if he doesn't have defog, then oh well, but it's, uh, it's, um, let's see what they're thinking here. He might, I mean... Sketchy might be predicting a switch, but as New Queen goes for the Stealth Rock. Got rocks I, up, and we both go for Stealth Rocks here. They both they both have rocks on each side. But right. we'll see what happens here. New Queen looking with her pony pony horn. Trying to see uh point out I that have sludge a wave. Feeling here that we are going to, I think both parties are going to switch, and I think from the spikes, we might go into the wheezing just to avoid that. Maybe predict something else over here. I mean, Neo Queen also has access to toxic spikes, so he must be sketchy. Must be aware of that. Very true. Very true. And with those toxic spikes, um, we can't really absorb the toxic spikes though, because wheezing will be floating off the ground with levitate, and Skarmory flies. So those toxic spikes might be a big issue. So uh, we'll see what they're gonna go for. Here, uh, well, I think from my perspective here, Skarmory's gonna go for spikes, and let's see if Neil Green has toxic spikes. Or worst case scenario, he has she has flamethrower as she, she goes for the stealth rock again. I must be a wonder if that was a misclick. There. Yeah, it was probably a misclick. Uh, looks like we're going for uh, the spikes. Hopefully, we can get a second layer up before we have to switch out. We're seeing many, many hazards. So the couple tops will not do so good on the field since the, he is weak to the spikes. Spikes will do a lot of damage to that couple tops. Spikes will do a good damage. Um, I'm wondering if the Star Raptors went purposefully went for the Stealth Rocks, predicting a switch. Up, oh, we're withdrawing okay. the Needle Queen here, and they're gonna send Snow Cone, which is the Suicune. Okay. The Suicune. So Suicune is probably switching in. Take some good damage from the spikes and the stealth rocks. So we can probably switching into bait, hopefully. Uh, not hopefully, but bait a switch, maybe. Uh, probably planning on using Ice Beam, which will do a good bit of damage to the Scar Armory over here. Uh, he sets himself a second layer of spikes, and just looking at that Suicune, he could start selling out Calm Mines and become a Crocoon. Yes, it's a leftovers Suicune, so hopefully it does not set up the Calm Mines and goes for the Ice Beam, which we could hopefully get a good switch into. I don't know, maybe Weezing or Sylveon to take a hit? He, yeah, the Sylveon does have that high special bulk, so uh, let's see what will happen here. Uh, unless he's, I mean, Skarmory does, is a, um, what's it called, a setup bait to yes. be set up on. 
Skarmory is very so, much set up, so hopefully Skarmory can either A, do something, or B, get the hell out of here. <laughs> you know, if he had, I just realized this, he, he, he could have Whirlwind to not have that setup. Very true. We could have Whirlwind instead of Defog, or Whirlwind and Defog, we're not really sure. Okay, we're going to go for the switch. As he switches go out, he switches out and goes to Wanda, to Sylveon. Sylveon, yes, okay. I, Alright, so gonna takes a little damage from the rocks, nothing too much. Goes for Roar. Oh my. And brings in the Jolteon here. Jolteon's gonna take some good damage from the rocks. This might be a good switch though for us, because we could use an electric type move unless the Suicune wants to switch out. I mean, it looks like he got that Jolteon from one of the trade, but it he could be Specs or even Night Board. If he's Night Board, that would be good because he'll be able to switch out moves. Luckily, um does uh I believe the Star Raptors do not have a ground type, so this uh, Jolty bitch can uh, bolt switch on everyone's in the base. Very true. The bolt switch will be very damaging to both Suicune and Kabutops, if I'm not wrong. Yes, Kabutops is part water, so... Is it? It is, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, that'll do a good damage yeah. to Kabutops. As we await their move, as Suicune looks at... Jolteon, like, I'm gonna scald you in the face if you don't get out of my face. Jolteon's just staring back, hopefully looking for the Volt Switch, so we can get back into a Pokemon and do some good damage, because if I've, every time I've seen Volt Switch be used in a battle, every time I've used Volt Switch, every time Volt Switch has been used against me, it always takes a great chunk out of damage, uh, great ch uh, damage, great chunk of damage out of the Pokemon it's been used against, except for maybe if it's a ground type. Alright, they're gonna withdraw in fear of the electric type move. And they're going to switch into Mitsuru. Oh, they do have a ground type. Need a queen. Need a queen. Oh, is part I ground. forgot. Oh, I forgot about that. I completely forgot. So hopefully we that was a mistake on my end. We went for Shadow Ball. I was predicting the switch. Predicted the switch. Took some I mean, good damage out of Need a queen after the spikes and rocks there. As we can tell right now, he's actually Light Orb, which he can switch up his moves whenever he feels like. Which is very good. So. Uh, uh, the, the star out there should fear the head power eyes coming from this Jolteon, if, if he even has. Yes, hopefully we have head power eyes. If, if not, then uh, I think Shadow Ball should do the trick. That did a good amount of damage. If not kill I after mean, this turn, it should kill in the, one, the turn after this. Judging by that um, damage, that could be a defensive Neo Queen. Very true. Uh, this Neo Queen might not be doing too much damage either, although we might want to switch out because in fear of Earth Power or Earthquake here. Yeah, I mean, but we outspeed. We're base 130, so yeah, we outspeed. But let's see what happens here. Let's see if this uh this blue oh, we're right now, back as up. he's we switch back out, go back to Amada, predicting the Earth power. Let's see. Goes for the uh, wave. That's another great prediction to from the Smurgle's parts. Yes, that was a very We're doing good, good so far. We are doing very good so far, predicting all these switches, hopefully, uh, and getting good damage off the on shadow the Pokemon. I mean, the Shadow Ball. Yeah, that was um, a good Shadow Ball. He did. I mean, in my perspective, he was about to use his power. He just said he didn't want to over-predict. That's yeah. where I'm getting at from that part. But right now, we're at Scarmory versus Neil Queen, right? from the very beginning. This Nido Queen can't really do too much to the Skarmory, so hopefully we take this advantage of them switching out, which hopefully the uh, Staraptors do, and we set up another layer of spikes to get two down. Or er, not three down even, actually. I, I think we have three. Can you yeah, get three? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's uh, three. It's the, it will be the last layer of spikes. Yeah. So hopefully we can get a third layer of spikes down. If not, then maybe go for a Whirlwind or a Brave Bird even against a Pokemon that might switch in here, because... I'm trying to think. The only thing that can take a Brave Bird pretty well, if I remember correctly, is that Kabutops. Yeah, Kabutops can take it very well due to that uh, rock typing. But we'll see what happens here. Uh, he could take the uh, Star Fox on Maui, could take advantage of, of the switch. As we're seeing that Gearheart is make, trying to start after the try to make a move as he switches out. Let's see what switch who switches back out to the Suicune. Back to phase one. Very God interesting uh, decision here. Uh, and God we are going to go. It gets hurt by the spikes and the rocks. The pressure is back into play, lowering our PP quicker. And we get the final layer of spikes up, if I'm not mistaken here. So that should that do a good amount of damage. 
That is indeed the final layer of spikes. Good play by the Smirnoff part, not predicting anything, just going for that final layer of spikes to do more damage on the switching. So Neo Queen might go down to the hazards when it comes back in. And if Unless not, he goes the next attack after that should knock it out pretty well. Well, let's see what Smirk, what we do from here. Will we switch out? So let's see. Or so we could go use Roar again. So we can, could go for the roar again, so we might just take that and just use Brave Bird just in case we can't get a hit off. Or it could go for the Ice Beam, we're not really sure here. Or a Calm Mind even, where this Suicune's very unpredictable at this point. Yeah, Suicune is very unpredictable. What in tier... Wait, my bad. In the um, um, draft type format, so he's very unpredictable. Well, we'll see what happens here. As uh, the Star Fox Armada stares down and cuts through lasers. Yes. <laughs> hopefully we can. Uh, hopefully this. Uh, what is it? The. Uh, what is the name of the Star Fox ship? I completely forgot about it. The Armada. Is the Armada. Yeah, 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 yeah. I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully your Armada can get hit the weak the weak spots of this snow cone over here. Vanilla this, uh, Vanilla looks wannabe over here. <laughs> the Aqua Doge. Aqua Doge. Aqua Doge, Fire Doge, and Thunder Doge. Exactly. You're about to take you. Oh, we go for the Brave oh, Bird. Go for, not over predicting, just want some damage. And if I'm not mistaken, Sorry. the Suicune must have gone for Roar because if we shouldn't outspeed. Yes, it did. Nor since Roar has negative priority, we goes, it goes last. Yeah, it has negative priority. Goes back to Jolteon. Wow. It's like. Sketchy has a mind of his own trying to switch into Jolteon. But as he didn't take much damage from the Stealth Rocks. Very true, very true. Hopefully we go for another Shadow Ball, trying to either predict the switch or just so we don't take the risk of missing an electric type move. But let's see what the snow cone will do. I mean now I'm gonna eat some snow cones now. But uh, I mean luckily it's very wintery, so not over here in California. California is very sunny, but up here in Seattle. Uh, yeah. Annoying. I mean, right here in Miami, there's uh, no sun at all, but we're at Seattle. It's fine. It's fine. Look at the Jolteon in his eyes. Beautiful, beautiful scary Seattle, soul. Washington. Maybe after this, we'll go see the Space Needle with all of our uh, Pokemon friends over here. I think I might jump off the cliff. Let's jump see. Off? I'm a skydive. Hopefully the skydive will catch you. Uh, yeah, I need that Star Fox Armada. Yes. Armada. But <laughs> uh, well, Gearheart is really taking his time here, thinking what he should do. It goes for the Volt Switch. As he bolts. Very good damage if not knocked out. And, and there's it the knocks first knockout. We could with a critical hit. I'm not sure if that oh crit might have, might have mattered. Not quite sure yet. But that was a very good knockout, and we get to switch back into a Skarmory for a safe switch, or maybe even another Pokemon. So that was a very, very nice play done by the Seattle Smear Girls here. You're a good job. I, 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 I bet you a do. <laughs> Woo! That was good from Smear Girls, and that crit might have mattered, because, you know, the bulk of Sweet Poom is very shit, um, very, very annoying. 115 base. Defenses. Yeah, I've so known the sweet, sweet part. So he goes back to. Jump up. Oh my god. Stones didn't do too. Well, he might. Uh, you know, he's part steel, part blind, so it's neutral, it's neutral, and. So the battle well, let's is see now what... one to zero. Seattle Smear rolls in the lead. So hopefully, we can get another knockout. If not, do some good, decent damage to whatever Pokemon's coming in now from the Seattle Star Raptors. The Seattle Star Raptors aren't in, having a disadvantage right now. They lost one of their specialty or basically defensive moves. Yeah, that was a very scary Pokemon to have lost there. That Pokemon is no longer a threat uh, to our team here. Uh, not that it really could do too much, actually, now I think about it. The Arcanine might have had to help trouble dealing with it, and the Jolteon would have taken some good damage with it, as, long as, as well as the Skarmory. But uh, I think the other three Pokemon on our team should have been able to handle it pretty well. But that does not take out the... 
fact that the dark is still there. Very true. There is a dark right left in the back of the Seattle uh, Star Raptors team over there. Although we do have Kyrie MB, who, or even uh, another Pokemon that might have a Focus Blast or something. Goes, he goes. He goes to the embryo. <laughs> the embryo. <laughs> <laughs> goes into Daydreams, who is uh, blowing some the smoke. Embryo. If I'm not mistaken here. He's blowing off some smoke, smoking that marijuana smoke weed every day. But that's stupid. But um, yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm predicting here he might go for Thunder Wave to slow down that Armada. Yeah, the uh, Musharna is a very bulky Pokemon, very scary, and if it can um, put you to sleep, the Dream Eater is also a very big threat too. I mean, I don't know much about Musharna, but that it looks like a freaking embryo, like a like. It's, it's pretty it bulky. Looks good, it can be hard to deal with. Although we did take a good yeah. chunk of damage out with that Brave Bird. Yeah, the, the, he goes. So now he's anticipating. He has to. Mirgo has to switch in order for him not to fall asleep. And if we fall asleep, like I said and a minute ago, the Dream Eater is definitely inevitable and will do a lot of damage as well as healing the Musharna, which is not exactly what you want. You don't want your uh, enemy team getting health back if you can stop that by any means. Or he could set up. He has a chance to set up on the Star Mind, but the Calm Mind. Very true. Calm power Mind, Dream Eater, Calm Mind, Psychic, something very scary. Sword uh, Power. Stored power as stored well, power. that's a scary move. That's a very, very, very terrifying move. I used to run a Sigalyph with stored power, Psycho Shift, and uh, Flame Orb. We're going to stay in and go for the Brave Bird, hopefully knocking out the Musharna. I don't know, though. Uh, that defensive thing is down and out, not taking any chances of setting up, but he will go to sleep. So good night, Armada. Yes, Good Armada night. is now asleep. See, yeah. And sorry about that little uh, glitch there about the audio for a second, guys. Uh, the um, His mic seemed to have yeah. glitched out for a second there, but everything should be good now. Uh, but yes, like he said, the Musharna oh is down. So. Yeah. And that embryo now being aborted. Goodbye. I don't have to worry about that anymore. That thing was a bit of a nuisance and was kind of scary, although Armada is asleep, so I don't know if we're going to stay in and hopefully break the sleep or what, but in comes the Darkrai, which is oh, going to get some no. bad dreams with its ability. He's going to get some bad dreams, uh, knocking health off of Armada and maybe even uh, Dream Eater, but the spikes and rocks did do some good damage. He could actually set up some nasty pods, think of nasty things. Yes. Nasty plot also wouldn't be very good. This Dark Ride is very terrifying right now to our Armada. Um, I'm yeah. honestly not quite sure what we can do. Uh, I, I, this I, thing I, is I can't see any Pokemon threat. that would do too much damage to Dark Ride here. We have Arcanine, who I can't... Maybe... Does Arcanine get close combat? I don't think it does. Yeah, it does. It does? But maybe Arcanine well, with close combat. Yeah, if he even has close combat. But we'll I see. I mean, I think... Real quick, like... I mean, I believe, uh, as he switches out, he goes to Tumor. Oh, goes into <laughs> Tumor. Goes into Weezing. I, I, I get to think. What can this Weezing do here, I wonder? He's thinking of nasty things. Why are you thinking of my girlfriend? <laughs> I don't have a girlfriend. <laughs> it does get close combat uh, because of This move, Tumor. So Arcanine can be a big threat to this Dark Ride, but I'm not quite sure what this Weezing is going to do here. He could be especially defensive as he goes for the Dark Pulse, Critical knocking hit. out the... Oh my god, these crits. That it is really bad matter. for us right there. That is really not good. Uh, that crit one-shot us, basically. That was pretty scary and cost us a pretty big loss there. Yeah, that, we, that tumor could have exploded or whittled with the, um, the couple tops. Very true. Uh, the and Weezing didn't sizzle. get any play at all. The Weezing just switched in and was immediately knocked out. So now I believe it is two to one. Uh, Seattle Smeargles in the lead, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's a it's a five four lead for us. Uh, but this Darkrai it has has five nasty shit. So uh, yeah, Darkrai is okay. very bulky right now. Well, not bulky, but is very uh. Powerful right now with yeah. that plus two, if I'm not mistaken. 
Yeah, it's plus two with one nasty plot up. But Sketchy Smirgle is thinking what he should do here. He should go out to Sylveon. Because he does have that Skarmory Sleep and I believe Sneak Claws is on. So he can't have two Pokemon Sleep. sleep so he's just. On, then nothing else can fall asleep. And we might be able to switch that Sylveon because if Sylveon has Moonblast or Draining Kiss or something involving that, it should do some pretty good damage to Darkrai. You can have Hyper Voice that people. Yeah, Hyper Voice could be a thing here. I mean, we never know because he last week he did forget to put Pixelate on the Sylveon. But BNA, go oh, going into the pure and black, pure and black cousin, here. My cousin, my brother. cousin, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> he could be Scarf. I mean, if he's Scarf, scarf then I'm honestly not sure what uh, pure and black can do to this dark right here. He could drop a Draco. Shout out to you. Shout out to a, a famous Poketuber that drops Dracos every day. Uh, <laughs> Drop a Draco. Drop a Draco on your bitch ass. But let's see what this Kieran Black here will do when your cousin defeats this nasty thinking nightmare. Hopefully, hopefully. Uh, I'm looking up yep. to see if it can get any fighting type moves, which it can. It can get Focus Blast. We could be going for Focus oh my. Blast here. I'm not, although. Kyra Black is usually it goes for outrage. It's usually a oh. physical attacker. It's really it's Toy Scarf knocks out the threat. That's one threat down. But um, I forgot those. Uh, that is the three Sleep big threats down, if I'm not mistaken. That is the Musharna, the Dark Rite, and the Suicune. And here comes the Neo Queen, which will get outraged in the titties. Yes, that is the bad thing, though. We are locked into outrage now. Although that uh, Neo Queen almost dies to hazards. If we had, I don't know, if it was a little bit lower, it should have died, but it barely holds on oh. after three layers. I of mean, it's not bad. If, if he has a fair, judging by the switching to Neo Queen, he does not have a fairy type, which I forgot. But he goes for outrage again, knocks out the Neo Queen. Goodbye, Neo Queen. So that is what? Goodbye. It is now just, five to two Pokemon, I believe. Yeah, five to two. It is the Kabutops and the what? I can't remember. And a Scizor. And a Scizor. Which and here comes a Scizor. So if this Scizor is Mega Bullet Punch, may be coming in our future here. So I'm kind of scared. Plus, we have one more turn of Outrage before we go into a Confusion Fit. But the Rocks and Spikes did do some good damage to Scizor as Scizor taunts our Kyurem over here. Yeah, he um, says, get over here. Uh, and I'm we go back with the taunt by slamming onto the ground. And uh, hopefully the Seattle Smeargles can hit this Scizor one last turn. Goes for the bullet punch without Mega Evolving. Oh. So that could be not enough to knock him out. Barely outrage, enough. Outrage, and now he's going to get drunk. He's going to get drunk after the Outrage. Outrage does do a good amount of damage just for being not very effective. And like you said, we are confused now due to fatigue. So that might outrage. not be the best for us. And I think... We may or may not switch out, or we may just let Zekrom or oh, uh, Karen Black, uh, excuse me, go for now. What we have to do is sack this thing out, have a switch, free switch into, I believe, yeah, he, <laughs> he forgot he was choice scarf. <laughs> As he forgot he was choice scarf. And we are faster, he, but we are going to confuse. And we go for the outrage! Oh my! Which should come close, if not knock out the Scizor, which it does. He's dead! Get out of here. Get out of here, Scizor. That's what we get for taunting us. Little bit, bitch. Thanks for playing, my friend, but well, it did not work out for you. And comes the Kabutops, which hopefully, if we break through the confusion, will do a good amount of damage with Outrage. Takes a lot of damage from Spikes and Rocks, though. I mean, there's no point of rapid spinning here. This um, He goes for Aqua Jet for a priority. And knocks out knocks the out. Kyrim Black. Goodbye, your cousin. Yes, my brother, yep. cousin, is dead. My cousin brother is dead. Uh, did good job, knocked out two Pokemon, if I'm not mistaken. Definitely got rid of some threats. Kyurem Black is very much a threat as well. There he is. So he goes to DMX, uh, that's interesting. He has the Aqua Jet. Let's see if he's Intimidate, if he is Intimidate. Maybe we switched so in just to get that Intimidate drop, because that Aqua Jet's very scary against this Fire-type here. Plus those rocks did a good amount of damage to our health, because, you know, super effectivity. Goes for extreme speed, though! It's not a good play. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. It doesn't do so much damage. I assume we're just but trying to get go the uh, goes for the Aqua Jet here. Do we live? I'm we, assuming we were just we, going for the chip damage. Yeah, but we could have um, gone for 
if he has wild charge or something. I think what was going on is he just wanted to get a little damage before we died because of the priority on the Kabutops here. Yeah, we're going to switch out. I think we're going for the Intimidate factor and for it to lose some health with Life Orb. We're going to go back into back, Wanda. Go back into Wanda. Hello, Wanda. Those meat ribbons. And as he goes for Arcanine, I tried to knock out the Arcanine. But Arcanine's like, fuck you. I'm out of here. As this Sylveon got critted, and I was presuming he was going to cry using the Hyper Voice. Yes, hopefully we have Pixelate Hyper Voice. If not, um, I'm not quite sure what else we can do to this uh, uh, Kabutops here. Maybe a Draining Kiss or a Focus Blast if we um, really want to go oh. all ambitious here. Uh, we'll see what we do here. I mean, it's all differential. He could have a 4-0 victory. So he must keep his uh, differential in clutch. His differentials do matter. Yes, very much, very much so. And goes for the stone edge, which does not miss. It's just, it's not a stone miss. We live with 10 HP. What do we do here? We hyper voice. Screaming at his face. Get out of here, Archer. Which it is and pixelate because that was not very, that was uh, normal effectivity. So we win our first match of the PGL League. Good job to so us. Our second match, but yes, we do win with a 4-0 victory. And we are now, the Seattle Smearers are now 1-1 and the Seattle Staraptors are now 0-2. So now we now we won the victory. Um, that sh the crit, those crits might that crit from the Voltwitch might have mattered. Yes, yeah, some of these crits might have mattered. Um, any final thoughts on the battle before we end off here? Uh, it was a good match. Good job. He took off no dark right. He could have swept. Um, yeah, that was a good match. How how do you think of it? I because. personally very much enjoyed the match. Uh, that Zekrom, or the uh, Black Hyurum there, did very good amount of damage to very good Pokemon. Very many threats were knocked out, and I think we took the battle uh, rightfully so. Alright, so uh, I hope you all have a nice day. This is um, Dirty Marpic Dinner and Dark Zekrom, Red Macho Man, and uh, have a nice day, guys. And we'll Shut up, on. nigga, you some motherfucking lame, boy I ain't got time to devote to a game, boy Try to battle me, guarantee that you losing Only if the squad ho get with the movement Yeah, you grinding to the sun up You ain't liking what we doing? Shut up You ain't liking what we doing? Shut up